Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny. Welcome back to FNAF News. In today's video, we have a whole bunch of updates on a whole bunch of brand new FNAF books. So in today's video, we're going to be going through all of those book announcements, their covers, their descriptions, because these are the first couple books in a brand new FNAF series. So if you're excited for all the FNAF news, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button. We're actually getting very close to 100,000 subscribers. So subscribing to this channel is not only the best way to guarantee you stay up to date with everything in FNAF, it's also going to help us get one step closer to that incredible milestone. But now let's hop right into the news, starting off with the brand new Tales from the Pizzaplex graphic novels. Last month in early April, we got the news that we'd be getting in 2025 some graphic novels for the Tales from the Pizzaplex stories. And just recently, we got the cover reveal for the first volume, set to be released on March 4th of 2025. This first volume of Tales from the Pizzaplex graphic novels will include the stories under construction. Maya can't resist the temptation to explore an under construction section of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex. It'll also feature Haps, Aiden, and Jace decide to scare some young kids in the two maze of the Pizzaplex. And finally is Clitherophobia. Fazbear technician Graydon doesn't listen to the voice in his head, telling him to stay away from small cramped places when doing his safety checks. Now there's a few things to note about this cover specifically with Ballora. She's actually from that third story Clitherophobia from Tales 3 Somnophobia. But like the second Second, this cover got revealed, a lot of FNAF fans noticed, well, that's just a FNAF AR render. And to make it even worse, that's not even what Ballora looks like in the story. And listen, I've not read any of the Tales books, but like, even just one quick glimpse at her Wikipedia page. It says the version of Ballora that Graydon encounters in the tubes is just her upper body, which is attached to a robotic mechanism that moves her through the venue. That sounds freaking awesome. I'd love to see that interpretation of Ballora. I saw a lot of people excusing the traced version of that FNAF AR render because, well, at least it's official artwork, which... I guess sure, but it's also, I mean, it's still pretty disappointing. At best, it's just lazy. At worst, I mean, that's not even what Ballora looks like in the story. And also, why that pose? Come on, why that pose? You tell me I have to go check out at Barnes & Noble with Ballora spreading her legs behind her, gesturing for me to come closer? I don't want, I don't want that. I don't want to have to look the Barnes & Noble employee in the face and say, here, I want to buy this book. But that is the first volume of Tales from the Pizzaplex graphic novels. Like I said, it doesn't come out till March of 2025, so quite a ways away. But I'd love to know for all you book fans out there, what other Tales stories would you like to see get adapted into a graphic novel next? But now let's move on to the brand new interactive novel series from Scholastic. In a previous FNAF News video, we took a look at the first volume in this brand new series called The Week Before. The cover features Freddy Fazbear, though a lot of people were confused because that Freddy features a red stripe on his top hat, a characteristic which you can find on Toy Freddy, but also more specifically, FNAF Plus Freddy, because this version of Freddy looked a lot like that Freddy. And since that video, it does look like they changed the cover a little bit to exclude that red stripe on his top hat. But in case you missed that video, here's the official description for the week before, and that'll give you a general sense and idea of what this interactive novel series is all about. Just in time for the 10th anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's return to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza in this interactive novel in which you decide what happened. Return to where it all began in this interactive prequel to the very first Five Nights at Freddy's game. You, the reader, are the security guard, and you've got five nights, or is it six, to survive Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, and Foxy as they try to wipe you out. With over 25 different possible endings and two difficulty settings, this one-of-a-kind innovative novel is a uniquely entertaining experience for any Freddy fan. Though I won't spend too long in this book because we did already do an in-depth video talking about it. I'll leave that link down below in case you missed it. But just to quickly summarize, we are the security guard that works at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place from FNAF 1 the week before Mike gets the job. And you've already heard everyone say this, but who, dear viewers, is working the first week before Mike gets his job? Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So, I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. That's right, it's our main man, Phone Guy. So we're all kind of theorizing right now, this week before book is going to be about Phone Guy's working days at Freddy Fazbear's. And so as we read through the story, it'll probably be like basic FNAF 1 gameplay. Freddy's at the door. This interactive novel will give you multiple options of what you can do. Either close the door, leave it open, accept your death, you know, run out to the dining room to try and escape and try and survive. Maybe trying to find a place to hide, but basically that is what an interactive novel does. And then you choose your option. It'll tell you, 
all right, turn to this page to find, you know, how your story continues. Turn to that page, you'll get more options eventually as you keep reading. Turn to that page, and that's how you get 25 different endings. And hopefully, there's at least uh, one canon ending that tells us what actually happened to Phone Guy when he died on night four. That is the very quick summary of the week before. Phone Guy story, it's a prequel story to Five Nights at Freddy's 1. And like the description stated, this is releasing on September 3rd, around the 10th year anniversary for FNAF. But if you watched that last video talking about the week before, there was a small detail that I pointed out. So this 10th anniversary is going to be so, so incredible. Also keep in mind, we've got Into the Pit coming up, which also, by the way, the author for the week before is followed by Mega Cat Studios, the developers behind Into the Pit. Not sure if there's any connection between Into the Pit and the week before, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait and find out. So we kind of speculated maybe there was some connection going on there, but that was kind of it. But that brings us to a few days ago where we got the second interactive novel revealed to us, and that is Return to the Pit. And on the cover, we've got Spring Bonnie. He's also reaching up towards the camera based on the positioning of this camera. Maybe it's a security camera, though there is no static unlike the first volume. But the cover's got Spring Bonnie. He's inside some dining room. And the official description for this second volume says just in time for the 10th anniversary of FNAF, return to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza in this interactive novel in which you decide what happens. Dive into this interactive retelling of one of the most popular FNAF stories. And the basis for an all new video game into the pit. You the reader are Oswald and after using the ball pit at Jeff's Pizza to travel back in time to 1985, you've brought a sadistic animatronic back into the present. Can you escape? Or will it be game over for you and your friends? With over 25 different possible endings and two difficulty settings, this one-of-a-kind innovative novel is a uniquely entertaining experience for any Freddy fan. So the same basis, the same number of endings, the same two difficulty settings, which we will get into in a quick second. But do you think Scott Cawthon likes Into the Pit? <laughs> I mean, we had the original story in Fazbear Frights, right? We're getting the game for the 10th anniversary, and we're also getting like a sequel book where we return to the pit. Well, it does say just in time for the 10th anniversary, Return to the Pit interactive novel isn't actually set to be released until December 24th of 2024, but I guess it'll work out for a nice Christmas present. Now, even though we talked about E.C. Myers, the author of the week before following Mega Cat Studios on Twitter, he's actually not the author of Return to the Pit. With that title going to Adrian Kress, who Bendy fans might actually know as the author of the Bendy novels. I personally have not read any of the Bendy books, but based on Twitter reactions, I've heard pretty good things about them, so I think we're in safe hands. It's my very first interactive style novel and was such a fun challenge to work on. It's similar to a choose your own adventure or pick your own path book, but has a lot more ending. Two difficulty settings and two playthroughs. A most unique writing experience for yours truly. Now, in the descriptions for these interactive novels, we heard nothing about those two different playthroughs, so of course, FNAF fans had questions, and Adrian responded, basically, after you read or play through the book one time, there's a thing that happens at the end that allows you to go back and reread the book, and play a different game in it, if that makes sense. It's a little brain twisty to explain, so there's 25 different endings, two difficulty settings, and we can also replay the book. I'm not sure if those final two are connected, like when we replay the playthrough, it's gonna be harder this time around. Adrian did tweet about them and talk about them like they are two separate things, so... Dude, these books are just jam-packed with stuff. Just some really, really exciting announcements all around. We're finally getting graphic novels based on the Tales books. We're finally getting a prequel to FNAF, which should hopefully have more info on the phone guy, how he died to answer all those questions. And then we also have another iteration of Into the Pit. So if you're a fan of Into the Pit, you are eating so good this 10th anniversary. You get a game and you get another book. And like I said at the start of this video, this is only the start of a brand new interactive novel series by Scholastic. It's gonna be interesting to see how many books this series get because Frights had like 12 I think, Tails had 8. So I just cannot wait to see where this book series goes in the future. And again, we've also got Into the Pit coming up. We've got these Tails graphic novels. It's gonna be a crazy year. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.